Okay, we got Red versus Con Man. Con Man is Puff, so hold on. Let me just change these titles here. Um, this this matchup is interesting. Cube you showed us this matchup was uh, a lot a lot easier for Marth than it actually looked. It looked like Marth got bodied by Puff for a while. Uh, a lot of people thought that, mostly because Puff's back air just walled him out. Edge guards were free, and uh, simple as just holding edge. And then once Marth made it on the edge, you just hop up and rest. Um, but I think Marth's tool actually has quite a few t uh, tools. Uh, even though Puff can weave in and out uh, with his amazing aerial mobility, uh, Marth can actually get uh, some combos based on uh, some poor DI or DI mix-ups. So, um, one of the things that Pew Pew showed us uh, recently at, I think, Apex 2015 when he beat Hungrybots uh, was the bat down throw to pivot F smash for the tipper. Um, oof. Misses the edge guard. But, for the most part, Puff should survive as long as she doesn't get tippered or up tilted. Uh, those are the two moves that will kill, or even up air at a little higher percent. Uh, this percent is good enough for up air to kill. Alright, F throw. Wall of pain. Almost got tippered, got a shield up in time. <laughs> Red reading that roll. Can't do that twice. That's a little that's a little risky in general. Or can't do that three times. Like, come on. Uh, Puff at 113, but one rest can even this out almost instantaneously. Um, ooh. Oh, that could have been a rest. But, and Red showing us the uh, pivot F smash that I was talking about. Um, it's one of the, the only way that Marth can stop and uh, throw out that F smash at that spacing. Tries to throw out the down B, doesn't get anything, but doesn't need that much percent either. Um, I know down throw combos to rest, but only at low percents, not not at these percents. Back air, oof, oof, fair, fair. Ouch, that hurt, that hurt. Not gonna lie, that hurt. Throws out. Okay. Ooh. Interesting F smash, but worked out okay. I feel like Conman needs to start using, trying for that shield poke with back air, and his edge guards need a little more. Uh, need to be a little cleaner. Uh, Marth will recover high. One of the things Puff usually should do for that is either up air or just grab ledge and then use that to um, then jump up and grab, use it to get the back throw. That's another tipper. These tippers are not looking good. Marth living to 175 is also kind of odd in this matchup. A good forward air or back air should really just clean this up. He's going for these F smashes. They're just going to get blocked. Puff's aerial mobility is what, or what like, let him, let her, rather, um, like, forward air on shield and then just lean back out of reach of, like, Mart's abuse of grab range. Red showing amazing DI, though, making sure that he has more than enough room. Is he able to grab ledge without having to burn a jump and then get clipped? And game. Red takes game one. Alright, we don't see a character switch here, or maybe we are, no, no character switch. Codman going Dreamland, uh, expected counter pick, Puff lives forever on this stage because of the extra high ceiling blast zones, um, but given that Red's getting tippers, I don't know how much of a difference it'll make, because he's mostly KOing off the side. Um, that being said, this might just help in terms of survivability in general. With some good DI, Puff can probably live an extra 20%. So, uh, bad roll, gets red into the shore you can with poor DI, but survives, which means this is basically... Oh, good up tilt. 
Ooh, that fear of arrest and gets dared. At higher level play, you'll see Marts don't throw out the dare as often. Uh, it's more of a desperation for his only move that covers below him. So, but it's, and it's extremely laggy. So if you can bait out a dare, then you usually get a free up smash, which is either percent or you can just back her off. Whiffs a grab. Marth wins the grab war. Um, I feel like Comman should be crouching. Puff can actually crouch under Marth's um, uh, standing grab, which means Puff can also gra uh, crouch under Marth's uh, jump cancel grab. But what Marth can do to get around that is use a dash grab, which is a lot laggier. But in general, Puff should be like crouching in this matchup because if you whiff a dash grab, there's enough lag for you to punish with the rest. Up tilt, cleaning it up, 131%. A lot of moves would do that. Some good platform movement. Bear. Crouch cancel grab. Down tilt. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how effective that move is, but uh, we'll see. Clips him with a dare again. See, those are a little desperate, though. You should just be baiting them out. Oof. And just to get wedge. So, all good and clear. All quiet on the western front. Oof. These tippers. I think he had another stock left, but maybe not. Um, but that will be the end of the game. That is two up. This is a best of five because we're in winners finals. All right. All right, Cotton Man bringing out his Falco. We get to see the bird. PPMDs, two alter egos right here fighting for. Oof. Falco's shine isn't quite like Fox's shine. Doesn't have as much horizontal range. Um, disagree with that full hop bear, but he didn't get punished for it. Mart's just going to tech chase on these platforms. Oh, that's a little clumsy. Um, but it's fine, 38%. It's not an insurmountable lead. Ooh, until Mart gets the grab. Ooh, good, good spot dodge, shine. Bear, up tilt, nice. Good combos, up air. Re-grab. Grab on the top platform. This, this could last for a while. Ooh, and that, that, that will end it. Uh, as I was uh, giving some tips before, uh, Spacey's at around 60%, up throw F smashes. Almost guaranteed. With 40 eye. Down throw, but the red doesn't DI it to the left or right, so he gets clipped by the shine. Uh, reason spot dodge, sure you can. F smash. You got anti double jumping. Whenever Spacey starts burning their double jumps, that's usually bad news. See, now he's off stage, no jump, and free attack. So, you don't want to start burning your double jump. That's how you know Spacey's nervous, and that's also how you get dead. Uh, especially as Falco and Fox. Falco, Falco more so than Fox, because Falco's LB is piss poor. Um, Side B is okay, but with given the fact that you can barely like side B, you can only vary the lengths to like the shortened or the middle shortened, and both of those require some really small frame windows. So for the most part, uh, side B isn't always the best option. Marth will ooh going for that Thundercats combo. Up. Oh, <laughs> Combat saving his jump. And uh, being pretty vocal about it, but then just getting dared for his troubles, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, 3-0. Red takes it. And let's see. 